All right, so a lot of the parts came in for the motor that we'll be building. Super Tech valves, uh, all the valve train stuff. So these are dual valve spring kits and then um, Inconel exhaust and titanium. No, I think it's stainless intake. So these are high performance plus one millimeter valves for the 2JZ. Um, and these are valve guides. So this goes, you get to, you press this into your block and then these are valve seals that go over. The, after everything's installed, you put that in to keep oil from dripping down. Um, then I also got a lot of BC parts over here and the crank. So now we're waiting on Ichiban JDM to bring the motor. We're gonna do the VVTI. And once the motor comes, I'll break it down to just, you know, the block and head and we can take the head to go get ported and then, or take the head, yeah, get ported, then I'll bring it over to the machine shop to get the work done on that. And then, um, like reassembled with the new valves in there. And then I'm refreshing an old head, not old, but last year race motor. And some of those valves and stuff need to go in that one. So, um, well, pretty much all new valves in one of the motors and then so that's what all that stuff is for and then in the meantime we're still working on body panels this is the back section of a supra this is the mold for it and we there's a there's like a sandwich part for the other side of the mold it it um, bolts here and then so this one just is not coated with the gel coat like this one so anyways, I'm applying wax to these right now. And it seems like a weird concept, but um, we we put wax, which is like this mold release wax. You put wax all over it. And then um, when you lay the fiberglass in there, it's like a high temp, uh, the wax is high temp and it kind of like sets I guess you'd say as the resin is hardening and when resin hardens it gets hot and then it makes it easier to pull the piece out of the mold and that's kind of why Herman has us do this. He would be doing it but he's like a really really busy guy and he needs our help so we do this in order for him to make the body pieces for us and a couple of the other Supras. He's just having us do some of the waxing for him and other little stuff He'll, he had us do like um, some sanding at one point. It just makes it easier for Herman. All right, I'm gonna get back to this, put it up on the table and then work on it. Hey, so guess what everyone? Herman said a couple of my body panels are done. So I'm gonna go get something. Hopefully he finished his back section here and maybe the hips and we're gonna see how flexy they are. Okay, so we're getting in the truck, heading over to Hartman composites to get some stuff from Herman you guys have already been there remember candles lit and everything but uh, we were doing stuff for Olaf's car and then this is the stuff for my Supra and we're gonna grab it right now and see how it turned out and then he doesn't have all of it he does like half of it at a time because he's always like juggling between many many jobs of different stuff he has to have ready so let's go see where he's at and then get it come back to the shop and start putting some of it on hey guys so i just went into herman's grabbed out a couple body parts he had a lot done already so i got both rear overs here and here and two front fenders and then the rear um the rear like plug of the car that fiberglass piece I have and we're coming back tomorrow for side skirts and front bumper so uh, tomorrow we're also gonna Herman is gonna go over with us and we're gonna pull the front bumper out tomorrow of the mold together with you guys so you can see how it happens it'll be pretty cool all right so headed back to the shop now I'm gonna start fitting some of the probably just fit the very back piece on there and start cutting a little bit where I have the exit out the center for the 
radiator ducting. So, all right, talk to you guys in a bit. All right, so we're back at the shop and here's what the panels look like off the car before we put them on. The new flex resin. It's pretty cool. It's flexy, but like then where these edges are, it's too thick still, so it's not gonna flex there. I mean, more so than before, but it would break if you pressed in there. Overall though, it's really good for just a little scuff against the wall compared to what I was using before or what like the average fiberglass would be like, let's say like this kit here on this car. <laughs> That's not flexible at all. Okay, so this piece here, this back piece, it's really light. It's really cool that we have this. Um, this piece goes back here, but I made it a little longer. So what we have to do is trim out down here where the end of the frame rail is because that's just a part of a mold on the frame rail so this won't actually go through it see that so we trim that out and then i cut the back of my car less than this piece is cut so this overlap here we have to trim down so i trim it down um, here here there and i just leave a section in there and i it underlaps there and i threw bolt it so there's that, and then, um, oh, I also cut the center out of here because uh, if you guys remember my, the duct work goes, the ducting from the radiator flows out the middle of the back bumper. So that will, I don't have a picture to show you, but flows out the middle of the back bumper. So then, which the back bumper rides right here so we cut like up into, I think, well, oh, sorry. We cut up here like that. And then that does it. So I'm gonna go get the piece from last year. All right, so we're all set up outside here. Got a super bright LED. Um, well, come on camera, fix yourself. Super bright LED, thanks to one of our customers named Eddie. He has a Mark II, Mark III, and Mark IV Supra. So, really cool guy. He wired this up one day when he was at the shop. Took him like two minutes. Really crazy how fast he did it. Anyways, here's last year's. Um, this one's been repaired multiple times. See the, right here where you can see where, it, well, I don't know if you can see it if you're not a fiberglass expert. It broke right here and Herman fixed it. See how it's like not even really um, painted on that side. And then also I decided to crash another time and it broke over here and Herman fixed it. So what he was doing is like putting it back in the mold and kind of patching a new area. And like he would t save what he could and just make what he had to. So here's a whole one. Um, this one's more flexible. This is the new one we just got. But what we're gonna do is cut out with the air tool around here. And then I leave that section. Let me flip this one around. I leave this section here and then I cut up to there um, for the air to go out. So I'm gonna cut that up right now on this new one and um, got my safety glasses cause gonna need that. Something's wrong with this guy. It's not resetting the height. I don't know, the, the GoPro Karma thing's messing up. Anyways, it's gonna get really dusty with fiberglass. You guys aren't missing out on anything and I'm gonna get dirty right now and then be really itchy. Don't really like cutting fiberglass because of that, but gotta do it. All right, that's what I was talking about. Dusty with fiberglass. Okay, so we cut everything apart, it's really, uh, flimsy now because we cut a lot of metal or 
metal out of fiber. No, we cut a lot of material out of the fiberglass. Uh, this middle section and then a little bit of support back here, but we're okay with the flexiness because then I can kind of bump a wall. I don't know, it's still gonna crack. It's just what'll happen. So this part, um, I normally trim at like 13 and a half. This is 14 inches from there. Um, so I kind of do this every time. I'll trim it and then I like go check in. And, you know, I like chase my way to get it exactly in the right spot because the part of the car that's cut off over there I need it to line up really close or like perfect with that one so that you can't see it even though the over fender covers it but we wouldn't want like an air gap or you know something so i'm gonna go test fit it a couple times and trim it probably two or three more times like chase it down like another quarter inch to half inch and then i'll drill the holes to mount it on the spots i have on the car and i'll um, show you guys as i do that part all right All right, so now we're putting away some tools and then we had finished the mounting in the back of the Supra of the fiberglass back piece. Um, I didn't video while I was drilling the holes because I still need to get that uh, head mount camera, but uh, there's a hole mounted here, or the through bolt there and there that go into this bracket that I made back here. And then a little tab down, down in there. And then I through bolt it here, just with a M6, uh, like a 12 mil bolt, 12 mil length, and just a flange bolt on the nut on the other side. So a bolt and nut on this part, so that if, so it's strong to hold it, but if I smack hard enough, it would want to like, it'll still be able to pivot there and crack there if it needs to. Usually it kind of cracks here though, and then it folds in. And then these are somewhat flexible comparing to before. It, it still would crack, cause you see as it goes there, it gets like weak right around there. It still would crack, but I don't know. It's much better than we had last year. So each year you're, we're making improvements to the flexibility. And last year we were just proud of ourselves that we were able to make this back piece fiberglass. So when I did hit the wall nice and hard, if that was going to happen, that it wouldn't ruin the chassis and be, you know, kind of, I guess in a sense, like how Ola's chassis was where it bends everything else around it, which I didn't know I was gonna hit the wall as many times as I did last year, I hit the wall two really good times last year and both of the times broke this back piece broke some rear fenders but the car didn't bend the frame whatsoever so did the job um so now we are going to close up the shop for tonight i'm gonna work on all the body stuff tomorrow and then whatever i don't finish joe is gonna help me with and i'm gonna run to Herman's again one more time, get the skirts, front bumper. Uh, we probably have to throw the bash bar back on, put the headlights in, and then we can kinda set up the front bumper, or we will just um, know that it fit last year and everything's kinda the same, so, and there's, the front bumper doesn't have any holes to be drilled or anything like mounting holes, it just comes on and off real easy and now it's flexible comparatively to last year, so um, should be much um, easier to mount it. So get that ready, mount it a little bit, not worried about that too much. And then after everything's on and we're happy with the body kit, then we'll probably take it back off and go get it so we can take it to paint real quick. So that's all gonna happen tomorrow. And then we got to Anything we're gonna trim, we gotta trim it before it goes to paint or any holes that need to be drilled. So this part back here, I trim that out for smoke. And then I need to drill holes back here for the headlight uh, wiring, to, tail light wiring to go through. Uh, that's about all I can think of. Can't wait to get this back together and make a whole car again. It's like 
Not a good feeling when you race cars apart. You guys can relate, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go head back to Herman's right now. Grab front bumper and side skirts. And then see what he has to say about, um, he might be able to, might be pulling one out of the mold for us. I'm not sure. So you guys might get to watch it happen. Um, when the front bumper comes out of the mold, it'll be cool. So you guys kind of see how everything comes together over there at his shop. All right, let's go drive over there. So, pulling up to Herman's now. Herman's always got like a smell of fiberglass when you just pull up anywhere near him. His shop, it's kind of cool. <laughs> Check out all these snowboards they made. Oh. oh, okay, so they also make snowboards and then skateboards, like penny boards. Those are gonna be some skateboards, carbon fiber, and then he's got all kinds of different snowboards that are carbon. Really cool. Herman's building some over fenders for S30 chassis right now. These are the skirts. Check out how flexy those are. And front bumper. I guess they're already out of the mold, so we can't um, show you how the process of how it comes out. We will next time, maybe on a different part, but for now, that's what that is. Um, so we're going to hold those in the truck and talk to Herman if he's done spraying anytime soon. We'll talk to him for a second and then head back to the shop so we can mount all the body panels and whatever trimming and fitting we need to do. We'll try and get that done tonight so that we can then remove it at some point this week or maybe next, like beginning of next week and get it to um, JP over at JV Auto Body so he can start painting. Ooh, check this out. Herman's son Vaughn makes all the snowboards and the skateboards. They're really cool. Alright, so we got the parts. Herman's wants to make a mold of that scoop that I have on my hood because no other super hood is like that so he's gonna do that before I end up you know breaking that or messing that hood up so that's why my hood's there and then we are just gonna head back to the shop now get this stuff on Show you guys how it fits and what it looks like. It's gonna be good. Um, I thought we were gonna get to see it come out of the mold, but it didn't happen. There's, we're still gonna make another kit for Mike Perez on the East Coast. So now three Supras. Well, Jeff already has this. So four Supras will have the weapon wide body, and then eventually I'll put my practice car together and that one will have a two so there'll be five supras with the wide body kit on it so we'll be able to show you uh the front bumper or something coming out of one of the molds probably in like a week maybe yep all right back to the shop okay so we got the panels back from herman's uh, and then we went by oc welding and picked up one anthony now he just came over here on his own. 
and then we found a Joe. Ooh, Flexi, don't break it though. <laughs> we gotta smack it against the wall to break it. And then Joe's gonna mount some of the back stuff, and me and Anthony are gonna work on the front stuff. We already put this little support piece on. We haven't tightened it in the bash bar so that we can hold the bumper. I have to trim a little bit of the bumper, and then we're gonna put the doors back on to fit all the panels. Make sure they fit right and good, trim where we have to. Then we're gonna take them back off to go to paint. Maybe not tonight though. But um, you guys haven't met Anthony yet. Hi, I'm Anthony. He works down the street at OC Welding. And a couple years back when we were building this, he was here every night, like pretty much five nights a week after work. And he helped with all the fab work and anything he could help with. And like wouldn't have been as cool of a car without Anthony's help. So. You guys, you might get to see him more. He comes around very seldom now, so it's really cool that he just showed up today. <laughs> and then, uh, you might have wondered why I have this bell. It's a gift from Anthony, so it always rides with the car. And it's like, uh, people that have a motorcycle would have it, so they don't, it's supposed to stay on two wheels and it not. It wards off evil spirits. Yeah. Keeps so them safe on the track. It's good luck. Yeah. It's my Anthony good luck. So it goes with me and the two dollar bill. Those are the two things. <laughs> All right, let's grab the doors then. Right. These are like the best doors. They're from HGK and they're like more flexy than the actually. Yeah, they're double flexy compared to the stuff that we just made everything else out of. So we're also going to peel all the vinyl off because Renee has a new idea new color well it's gonna be blue but new blue new scheme so you guys will see that soon all right well we gotta get to work <laughs> um, so we're mounting some panels here not gonna put the front bumper on I'm not gonna trim it yet until I have a hood to go on here gonna get the hood back from Herman later this week and then we will kind of fit the whole like hey, yeah! headlights sometimes Joe sneezes some headlights Bumper, last final bolt on each one of the fenders, and I guess two bolts on the front of the fender. But I need before I do that, I need to get it lined up with a headlight and the hood. So without a hood, it would just be not smart to do that because I'm probably gonna ruin it or do it twice or drill it out too far, and you'll regret it. So this is what how much we got done tonight. I still got to mount, there's three more bolts on the side skirt here, I only did the upper lip that's underneath the door, so I'll do that, but first I'm going to eat some food and then after that I will show you guys as it's done and then, uh, yeah, probably clean up and go home for today, I think it's like 9 o'clock, oh, it's only like 8.30, so, alright, well, that's progress for right now.